Welcome back guys, this is Jimmy Jules 153 with another Dreams Logic tutorial. In today's video we'll be looking at the value slider. A value slider is a pretty simple gadget. All it does is output a signal that you define. On the front is the value slider that you can directly change with your imp without going into the tweak menu, which is very handy. If we pop into the tweak menu, you'll see a bunch of different settings. The first is the value, which is just a duplicate of this slider on the front of the gadget. Then there's the minimum value and the maximum value beneath that. You can also set the slider to be visible in the scene, which means that the player is able to interact with it. So if there's something you want the player to be able to control with the slider, like the raising and lowering of a bridge, for example, you can turn this on and the player can change it directly in the game. If we change the value here on the face of the gadget, you can see that this is replicated on the first slider. We'll plug the output of the value slider into the tint amount of the wall here, so you can see that as we increase the value slider amount, the wall transitions colours. It's easier to think of the number on the front as a percentage, so when it's at 0.1 it'll output a 10% signal, and 0.2 would be 20%, and so on. We'll jump into our gadgets menu and grab out a timer. If you haven't seen the video on timers, that was tutorial number one, and I definitely recommend going and watching that if you're not sure what's going on here. We'll plug the timer into the value slider input, and you'll now see that as the timer increases its percentage output, it increases the position of the value slider. The value slider is a bit more of a simple gadget, but it's great if you're after a static number output, and in addition with being able to make it visible in the game, you could display the volume of music and let the player change that as they'd like. Just note that if you increase the maximum value, it'll output a signal that's greater than 100% when it's full, so if you set the maximum value to 2, then the value slider maximum output would be 200%. That's it for today's video, see you in the next one.